good morning students today we are going to conduct an experiment on wall timing diagram of a four stroke diesel engine the aim of the experiment will be to draw a wall timing diagram of a given engine and calculate the different inlet wall opening inlet wall closing exhaust wall opening exhaust wall closing this is the wall timing diagram here you have different notations where IVO is inlet wall opening it will happen before TDC that is BTDC represents before top dead center it is the topmost position of the piston then IVC represents inlet wall closing it represents it is after bottom dead center that is it is the bottommost position of the piston then you have a exhaust wall opening EVO EVO will be happening before BDC that is before bottom dead center it is the bottommost position of the piston then EVC represents exhaust wall closing it will be after TDC that is after top dead center so you have to note down this tabular column these are the graduations on the flywheel so in this wheel there are different angles so this graduation represents angle so there are total 360 that is uh, for, uh, 360 degree angle so now we will try to find the top dead center now we will move the piston towards the top dead center so you move this wheel so when the piston reaches top dead center you stop then you note down the graduations here what is the value at the topmost position of the piston so here it is 353 so 3 353 is the angle at which the piston is at the topmost position that is top dead center or tdc so note down this value of 353 so this is the topmost position of the piston or tdc after noting down the bdc you bring the piston downwards to the bottom most position or bottom dead center after the piston reaches at the bottom most point and it is no more able to come downward you stop the wheel and note down the reading you can look here on the wheel it is 176 is the bottom most position that is BDC bottom dead center note down the value of 176 as BDC or bottom dead, dead center. Now we will try to find the inlet wall opening position. There are two walls here. This wall represents inlet wall because it is closer to the filter and this represents an exhaust wall. It is closer to the silencer. So we will try to find out at what point at what position the inlet wall opens you can you can look here this wall is loose here it is loose so when when you rotate the wheel in a clockwise direction this wall will get tightened whenever this wall gets tightened you had to stop the rotation of the wheel and note down the value of the angle now it has stopped now the wall is tighten it, it it is just tightened so we note down the inlet wall position by looking at the wheel so can you, you can look at the graduations here the angle is 348 degrees so you note down the value of the ivo inlet wall opening as 348 i am i am writing the scale reading here it is the scale reading so the scale reading is 348 for my experiment this is the previous experiment just ignore this part just you concentrate on this this is the scale reading 348 is the inlet wall opening now we will try to find the inlet wall closing angle now this wall has got tightened now we will rotate the wheel till this wall here we can look at the wall here can look at the wall it is open inlet wall is open you rotate the wheel until this wall gets just closed so we are rotating the wheel you can look the wall is closing now it is completely closed 
now stop rotating the wall uh, wheel and note down the angle so note down the angle the angle is 225 i am noting down the angle as 225 this is the inlet wall closing angle next we will go to exhaust wall opening angle this is the exhaust wall we have to rotate the wheel wheel in the clockwise direction until this wall gets tightened so it is loose yet so now now when it gets just tight and stop the rotation of the wheel and note down the value so you can look at the point at which the exhaust wall has just closed it is the angle is 143 note down the angle it is 143 this is the exhaust wall close opening angle exhaust wall closes at 143 now the exhaust wall is loose now keep rotating the wheel in the clockwise direction until this wall gets loose if you try to shake this wall it is yet tight now when it gets loosened it is the exhaust wall closing position so now you look just it has got loosened so now we have to note down the graduations so if, if you look at the graduations here the angle here is 259 so you have to note down the angle as 259 degrees sorry it is actually 359 so note down the angle of inlet uh, sorry exhaust wall closing as 359 so we are noting down the exhaust wall closing angle and we have noted it down as 359 so we have noted the scale reading that is this is the actual which we have conducted now just now the experiment this inlet wall opens as 348 inlet wall closes at 225 exhaust wall opens at 143 and exhaust wall closes at 359 now we have redrawn the table of the above and we have noted down the readings which we have got now we have to find this angles in n degree with respect to tdc bdc and that is we have to find the angles with respect to tdc and bdc these angles does not represent with respect to top dead center and bottom dead center to find the angles with respect to before tdc so what is the angle before tdc before the piston reaches the top dead center so to find that we have to subtract this this angle ivo that is inlet wall opening is with respect to top dead center so subtract 353 minus 348 so what we get is 5 degree so the inlet wall the inlet wall opens just 5 degree before it reaches top dead center so the meaning of this 5 degree is the inlet wall will inlet wall will open 5 degrees before top dead center next inlet wall closes when does the inlet wall closes let's see so we have to subtract the, it is bdc so we have to subtract 225 minus 176 so it is 49 so the exo inlet wall will close just 49 degree after bottom dead center now next is exhaust wall opening so when will the exhaust wall open it will be before bottom dead center so we have to subtract because it is bdc here we have to subtract 176 minus 143 it will give you 33 degree now next is it means that exhaust wall will open 33 degree before bottom dead center now we will go to the exhaust wall closing so exhaust wall closing is with respect to top dead center so how to find that tdc subtract tdc minus that is tdc 353 359 minus 353 so what it gives is 6 degree so it represents the exhaust wall will close 6 degree after top dead center so after noting down this angle we have to plot a graph with respect to this 5 49 33 and 6 degree and we have to take this tdc and bdc as reference 
so this is the top dead center this top most point and this is the bottom dead center that is bottom most point now we have to draw start drawing the angle instead of a circle we will draw a spiral type of circle so spiral will be there you start this at some point and you just draw a spiral type of diagram on a graph sheet first you will mark inlet wall opening so how to mark an inlet wall opening we know that inlet wall will open 5 degrees before tdc it will open 5 degrees before tdc so where is our tdc this is our tdc so 5 degrees before tdc you take a protractor keep the protractor in a, in this position and mark a point on as 5 degrees that is it is because it is before tdc you have to mark the point here now keep drawing this line now the next angle is inlet wall closing it is after bdc so we have go to the bottom part so this is bdc bottom part because it is after bdc we take everything with respect to a clockwise direction so we are we are rotating here we are coming then we stop here here you can here we stop here from here we start then we stop here we stop here and then you measure the angle here is 49 degrees so you keep the protractor here and measure an 49 degree angle because it is after bdc you mark this this is inlet wall closing now in the same way keep drawing the spiral and stop again at bdc so the bdc angle is exhaust wall closing is before bdc it is 33 degree now keep the pro protractor because it is before bdc you have go to the right hand side because everything is taken with respect to clockwise direction so you keep the protractor here because it is before bdc you measure the 33 degree angle this is this is 33 degree angle this is exhaust wall opening now next is exhaust wall closing it is after tdc after tdc means you have to go to the top dead center here and it is after tdc the angle is 6 degree you keep the protractor here and measure the angle it is 6 degree so the angle is 6 degree you mark the point this has exhaust wall closing next finally you add inlet wall opening and in exhaust wall closing angle that is angle of overlap 3 plus 6 or whatever which we have got you have to add this 5 plus 6 so for us for our experiment 5 plus 6 gives you 11 so this is angle of overlap during this position you have to just darken this 5 plus 6 part so just uh, just draw the lines it represents during this part inlet wall also key, uh, is will remain open and exhaust wall will also uh, remain open so during this position from here to here both the walls inlet and exhaust wall will be always open